We hold mm -hmm. parent meetings based around the stick figures and really challenge parents to live the way we do at school. Obviously, we can't require it, but right. what we have shown so many parents and we get you know, the older parents to come back and tell them, so glad I listened because it made our parenting so much easier. It mm -hmm. made our home life so much happier. We saw siblings who were fighting begin to learn to talk to each other about feelings and understand each other rather than fight it out. Mm -hmm. And many parents have shared that it really helped their personal adult relationship mm -hmm. to learn mm -hmm. to live like this. So we continue to hopefully educate the parents as we're educating the children. Although Jamie, the girl I told you the story about, her mom always tells me, Jerry, keep remembering to tell them it's much easier to be a Sudbury student than a Sudbury parent. <laughs> parent does have to trust that the child right. can do it. Mm -hmm. But I have watched this for 35 years and I'm telling every parent, no matter what you believe, your child can do it and they will do it happily and they will if they want to, they will get into college with no grades, no transcript, nothing we were told they have to have by a system yeah. that wants to give them that, by a system that has decided for them rather than asking them, by a system that pushes their agenda rather than allowing the child to find his or her own agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And parents, once they hear it's going to be easier parenting, the ears perk up a bit. And once they see it beginning to work, they're willing to learn more in my experience. Mm -hmm. But one of the mm -hmm. things that I really make clear to them, um, you know, all my years of experience as a therapist have really helped me tell this in a very honest way that parents get. And that mm -hmm. is, the current traditional way that we school children is a system that causes young people to become externally referented. By that, I mean that they come to believe by living in that system that all of their answers are out here because the adults know best, the school system knows best for you. This teacher knows best for you. This curriculum knows best for you. Rather than allowing children the time and space that they need to listen mm -hmm. in here, to become internally referented with the choices they make for their learning and their life, which is mm -hmm. the much healthier way to live and really not allowed much in the traditional schooling system because mm -hmm. the curriculum is the boss and right, right. the curriculum doesn't often work for somebody who's internally referenced so we have to get them to believe that mm -hmm. someone out here has the right way or the right answers for them but what that does to them over time is extremely harmful in my belief system because right, right. having worked so much with addictions and with domestic violence, it causes people to become so externally referenced that when they hit a hard time in their teenage years or their adult life, they look for something out here to make it better. Mm. They go right. to alcohol, sex, drugs, shopping, whatever, and often become addicted because they believe that will soothe the angst or depression or whatever they're feeling in here. People who grow up in the Sudbury model, by and large, what I have seen over so many years, become internally referenced. When they hit hard times, 
they talk about their feelings. They share mm. with someone they trust. They um, look for the help and, and are comfortable to ask for the help that they need because academically they were always able to ask for what they needed in school, not forced to take what was given. And mm -hmm. So that internal knowing of who they are, you know, I tell stories about, I've worked with 80, year old, 80 odd year old men and women in therapy who still don't know who they are, or what mm. they wanted in life or why they were even here. It is so sad. It's joyful once they finally get it. And right, believe right. me, they are the strongest proponents of a new order and a new system and a new way because they realize how long they lived the other way. But mm. most of our parents are willing to hear it's a matter of getting them there to here. I would, right, I right. would love to do workshops helping adults to understand how schooled they are and how mm -hmm. the fact that they bought into that so strongly is harming their children even more. Because if I am right, if it's an addictive system, addictive systems are progressive, meaning they get worse and worse. So mm. what parents experienced is about here, what kids are experiencing is definitely worse. And mm. that's what the kids tell me when I hear stories mm. of, of like third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh graders coming from traditional schools now. It's worse than what I experienced for sure. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.